To get started, I just added some text to my timeline. Let's begin by holding down the Alt key and dragging our text up to duplicate it. Now let's go over to the Effects panel and search for Wave Warp in the search box. Drag the effect onto your top text clip. Over in Effect Controls, go down to the Wave Warp effect you just added. Change the wave type to Square. Increase the wave height to around 50. Then increase the wave width to 100. Change the direction to 0 so that it glitches horizontally. After that, decrease the wave speed to negative 10. Make sure the time head is at the start of your text clips and press a right arrow key on your keyboard three times to move the time head forward three frames. Now cut the top clip at the time head's position. Move the time head forward four more frames and make another cut. Delete the clip that you just cut out. Then drag the bottom clip so that it isn't overlapping with the first part of your top clip. Okay, now we have a horizontal glitch and then a slight pause. Alright, let's select the next part of our top clip and change the wave warp's direction to 90 so that it glitches vertically. Then position the time mid where we left off on our top clip. Move the time mid forward 3 frames and make a cut. Move the time mid forward 4 more frames and make another cut. Delete the clip you just cut out. Then make a couple cuts down here to delete where your clips are overlapping on the bottom. After that, make another cut where our two big clips overlap. Then drag to select the two end clips and delete them. Now drag to select all your cutout clips. While holding down the Alt key, drag them to create duplicates. Alright, and now when we play this back, our text glitches. One last thing you can do to enhance your glitch effect and make it feel more random is to select some of your glitching clips and change their scale. Okay, and that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you next time.